First of all, let me say how happy I am to be here tonight, to be part of the group honoring one of America's great TV masterpieces, Homeland. Look, all of us in America appreciate Homeland for being good drama, but those of us in the intelligence community have an additional reason to be appreciative, and that's because Homeland works so hard to capture the true culture, the true essence of the American espionage community. Now look, we all understand it's, it's drama. It collapses some things in time and in space for dramatic effect. It's got to gloss over some details in order to keep the plot moving along. Look, every time they show a cell phone at Langley, I think all agency veterans uh, kind of have to have a hiccup there. By the way, Mandy, Claire, we're serious. Don't use a cell phone at Langley. But the big stuff, the big stuff, Homeland gets right. All that ambient background culture of American espionage, things like service before self, group over individual, sacrifice, patriotism, idealism, even a little touch of a them versus us when they look out to the broader society. There's a real attempt to understand the human beings who do this on behalf of the American nation. And great credit to the cast, the writers, and the directors for spending time talking to veterans of the American intelligence community to get that ethos and culture just right. I am most grateful for one of the core plot lines that we see in every episode of Homeland, and that's that this is just really hard work. These are really great challenges. And in the plot and in real life, we see a parallel that the way ahead, the operational, legal, and ethical way ahead is never clear or easy. Thank you, Homeland, for sharing that reality with our countrymen. And congratulations on this well-deserved award.